Good morning. It's Wisdom Wednesdays. I am Ariana Newcomer, Dove Oracle Priestess, and I'm back with you live today after spending a lovely week in Massachusetts with family to celebrate my mom's 90th birthday. And she's really doing amazingly well. Um, and I'm very, very deeply grateful that I have the family that I have. I just love them so much. Anyway, I am about to do a training in uh, biofield tuning, which is a sound healing modality using tuning forks developed by Eileen McCusick. And I've been following her for many years and finally decided, okay, it's time. <laughs> I've got to do the training. So I've been finishing up her book as preparation for the training. And there's all kinds of really, really wonderful, interesting, and beautiful things in it. This is what it looks like if you're interested. She is a researcher also, and uh, it's really trying to bridge the science with these things that are considered more esoteric, like sound healing. So there's great information in there about uh, some different ways of looking at the world and different science uh, traditions and um, things like the electric universe, which is a really cool thing that you might want to look into as well. Now, biofield tuning is really, really good for helping to clear out old stuff. And there's some evidence that our, our memories are kind of held in our energy field rather than inside our head and the brain, that our brain is more like an antenna that goes out and receives the memories which are out here in our energy field. And according to Eileen, things that are related to birth are further out in the energy field and then things that are more recent are closer. And so there are bands of things and we can have energy that's stuck from accidents. We can have, um, and it's stuck in the energy field. And using the coherent sound of a tuning fork actually helps to uh, bring that energy back when it's stuck out in the energy field that tends to be incoherent or dissonant. And then it's not available for us to use either uh, within our physical body and within our energy systems. So being able to create coherence in the energy fields and then bring the energy that had been stuck out there back into the center so that we can use it is kind of the short version of what biofield tuning is about. And it can really help us get unstuck from some of those old emotional issues. And of course, I had some old emotional issues come up being with my mom <laughs> over this last week. Um, but one thing that I love about my mom is that we can always talk things through and we always come to a greater understanding and we know that we love each other. But this is a really interesting uh, quote. This is actually from Martha Beck that is in um, Eileen's book about managing emotions. And this, I think, is really valuable because our culture really teaches us for the most part to push them down and suppress them. We're not supposed to be angry, especially as women. Men aren't supposed to really express their emotions or really have them. Um, and we aren't really taught in our families how to actually deal with emotions. And emotions have a, have a chemical component. Our body actually, bodies release a chemical that corresponds to emotions and they have an energetic component. And the best thing that we can do for our emotions, and this takes self-awareness, so it takes practice, is to really acknowledge them to ourselves. And when we do that, we can actually have the chance to pause and respond instead of react. And this is one of the things we work with in the Wise Woman Immersion. And uh, women do get better at not just immediately being triggered by that old stuff, but having the chance that that just millisecond to pause 
before launching into the triggered reaction to create a considered response instead. And when we allow ourselves, give ourselves permission to actually feel what we're feeling, it can then flow through. But when we stuff it down and when we, we suppress it and when we try not to feel it, then it gets stuck in our energy field for one thing and it kind of siphons energy out of us. And we also then, t it tends to come out later on in some kind of inappropriate way or some way that really doesn't serve us or the other people that we are in relationship with. So this is just a lovely quote from Martha Beck. Um, so we're, we're trained to avoid emotional discomfort, right? So she says, emotional discomfort, when accepted, rises, crests, and falls in a series of waves. Each wave washes a part of us away and deposits treasures we never imagined. Out goes naivete, in comes wisdom. My cat's trying to get me the letter out of my office here right now. Um, out goes anger, in comes discernment. Out goes despair, in comes kindness. No one would call it easy, but the rhythm of emotional pain that we learn to tolerate is natural, constructive, and expansive. The pain leaves you healthier than it found you. Now, isn't that different from what we usually have been taught and what we usually think, well, I've got to, I shouldn't feel this way. I hear that from so many women that I work with. Well, I shouldn't be feeling this way, but so if a woman's about to share in the wise woman immersion or we're in a, we're in a private session and she's telling me about something that's going on or telling the group about something that I know I shouldn't feel this way, but let's let that go, okay? <laughs> Let's not should ourselves into not feeling. We're human beings. This is what we do. We have emotions. And what's important is that we really have them. We acknowledge them. We give ourselves this, this opportunity and this gift and this self-compassion of managing our emotions and uh, mining the treasures that they hold. So I've talked in the past about anger being a pointing emotion. It can point us toward something that we really need to do, something that needs to be handled, something that needs to be dealt with. So it's not about just being able to splat your emotions all over everybody else without any kind of consideration or responsibility. It's being responsible with our emotions to admit that we have them and to um, to, again, just give ourselves with compassion the opportunity to feel them so that they can flow through, and then we can uncover the treasures that have been left behind. So, as I mentioned, this is one of the things we do in the Wise Woman Immersion. We do all kinds of different sorts of inner work to actually assist with this process. And I'm now going to be adding uh, this work with tuning forks. And this work can be done as distance work, too. And the women who participate in the Wise Women Immersion all get a 30-minute private session with me each month of the program, which is really unusual in a group program. Adding this modality to the other things that I do to help create uh, deep inner healing to help you connect with your own spiritual guidance at much deeper and higher levels to create sovereignty for yourself to really claim your wisdom and claim your voice and uh, this is one of the things that we also can really get stuck with and Eileen in her book biofield tuning talks about the throat chakra being perhaps the most important chakra that she works on. She finds that it is so common for us to be really blocked and stuck in the throat chakra. So we have many things that we do in the Wise Woman Immersion so that we can help clear that and open our ability to fully authentically express 
our whole selves. And it actually really opens up our creativity. And of course, our ability to speak our truth and to speak our truth responsibly so that it can be truly heard and understood. So I know that's one of my core wounds that I've dealt with is not being truly heard and understood. And I grew up in a family of five kids. And even though my parents were loving, their relationship wasn't ideal. And, you know, there wasn't time for everybody to be truly heard and understood uh, on those deeper levels that we just so long for. So this is an important piece of being able to be heard, truly heard and understood, is to manage our own emotions, let them flow, understand what they're telling us, and then what we need to do with them and being responsible about them. So uh, grab Eileen's book if you're so inclined. It's, uh, again, this is Tuning the Human Biofield, and I am going to be uh, taking the intro class in this this coming weekend. So I'm going to be adding this to my modalities that I do. And I am enrolling a new group for the Wise Woman Immersion. If you're interested in talking with me about it, uh, just click the link that I'm going to put in the comments and read a little bit more about the program and then click the Talk to Ariana button and schedule a time to have a complimentary conversation. See you next time.